Why is there something furry? What is furry? If you look back down in there, you can see some leaves and acorns. Dang, it's not good. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Connor Noel here with another video. That sounds so weird. I never know how to start the video. <laughs> But welcome back guys, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to officially join the crew. The like button as well helps out a ton. That being said, let's get right into the video. So, we got the coffee. Let me uh, give you a little rundown and backstory of what we're going to be doing today. So today we're actually going to be doing a little bit of work on my truck because we're actually about to get it road legal. I've been waiting so long for this and it's finally happening. I'm going to be working on the small minor things that I can do, um, like replacing the battery because the battery in it literally just died the other day because I left the battery connected and it has a really bad short that I did not know it had. And so, gotta put in a new battery. Um, into the truck and also find the short because it will just kill the new battery if I don't find the short and also replace the taillight because one of the turn signals is out as well so we may have to get another bulb or maybe wiring stuff. Let's go do it. Is this too hot to ring? Ah! Why is there something furry? What is furry? Also not the same type of bulb. Let's go find some other bulbs. I'm not really sure where to look. Um, I'm sure we have some spare ones somewhere, but these are headlight bulbs, not taillight bulbs. Okay, so I found um, an extra double filament one that we had laying around. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this thing in the back and then go grab the new battery, put it in and see if it works. I feel like I'm helping something give birth to something else. That just got really awkward really fast. <laughs> This is why you always wear gloves, because they're sharp, rusty things that want to give you tetanus. <sighs> Boom, baby! Yeah. Alright, cool. Let's turn that off. And the heater off. Let's test the right one. Good. Cool, cool, cool. And we are done with that. Awesome. Alright. I just know I'm going to be able to turn that into some really cool transition and supposed to cut this part out, but I'm probably not going to. So it is later the same evening. It's cooled off a bit, so we're coming out here to go ahead and see if we can find that short. It's probably going to be pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and test it with a, a multimeter. So we have that, and in case we're going any deeper into it, I brought wire strippers. I have electrical tape and screwdrivers right over there if we need it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to locate it just by pulling up radio fuse and seeing if it kills the draw. Let's find out. 20 minutes and two multimeters later, I'm now being blinded by the sun, but we have a working multimeter. Um, the first one I started out with, just it just didn't. And then the second one was low on battery, so it wasn't doing it either. But multimeter number three. We're gonna go ahead and put it on and see what it reads. Make sure you get good connection on the one. 0 0.09, 0 0.04, 0 0.01. Now, a lot of people on newer vehicles will even say that 0 0.01 of an amp being pulled is fine, especially if it's bouncing back and forth between 0 and 1 on that, um, that it's fine as long as you start your vehicle at least once a month. But depending on the type of battery or the condition of the battery and the type of vehicle that you have, that can drain your battery as well, just like it did mine. There's a bug biting my arm. Okay, let's go pull the radio fuse. Where is it? Don't worry about that wire. Or, or or that one or that button or that but there's some custom stuff in here okay just don't worry about it i'm gonna pull it and go see what it does <laughs> set that there um let's just see okay 0.7 it jumped up again 0 0.7 0 0.04 or i mean point i down to point zero one, staying at point zero 0.01 okay so we still got something um let's go pull another few <laughs> Boys, we got it. <laughs> I've been frantically pulling out fuses and checking uh, the multimeter every single fuse. What? I'm not joking, I just checked this right before I turned the camera on and it said zero. You wanna explain yourself? Do you wanna explain yourself, truck? <sighs> you think you're real cute, don't you? Now let's touch it on the battery itself and then on the thing. My ones that, there we go. What the heck was that? I'm never gonna, fully trust this thing. Uh, one last test, let's see. 
Then it goes to 0.01 to 0 0.00. It is 0 0.00 right now. I am calling it good. Um, I'm going to put all these back in because I took them out one at a time and they were still a short up until the last one I pulled out, which was the stop fuse, which sounds rather important to me. How literal is that fuse name? Just curious. I looked it up. The stop fuse controls the brake lights and the brake switch. So that one also is a rather small pull, which means it's not actually the brake lights coming on. So it's something else either in the wiring or potentially the brake switch. So I know what I'm looking for now. Most likely it is the brake switch, which is what the pedal hits and tells it to turn on the brake lights, which again, not a big enough jaw for it to actually be the brake lights. It's something in between. If you look up under the steering wheel and pedal area, as I just did, you can actually see the brake switch. The brake switch is still working because it's still turning the brake lights on until I can get that fixed or until I figure out how to fix it or order a new brake switch. All I have to do if I'm leaving it for more than a day or so or for a few days, I can just reach down and pull out the uh, stop fuse and just put it back in before I take it somewhere. Just like a key, basically. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, make sure to give this video a, a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already to join the Connor Newell crew. Until next time, guys, enjoy your coffee and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.